Yo, what's up guys, it's Don here and today we're going to be checking out the Bonetta Smart Wi-Fi LED bulbs. Uh, these are super cheap Wi-Fi smart lights that you guys can get for your house. They don't need any uh, docking station or central control hub, you just need the lights. It's plug and play, you replace your current lights with these ones and it connects to your Wi-Fi system, the app on your phone and you're off controlling your lights through your phone or your smart home devices. They are RGB, they do have, they are dimmable, they can cycle through color effects. I will get through all of that later on in the video. But first things first, let's see what you get in the box. So, getting into the box is really only the globe and the instruction manual. That is all you get. So opening the box up, If I can get the insert out. Insert comes out, you have the globe. Globe comes out, it's super, super lightweight. It like feels, imagine this was empty, that's what it feels like. And then inside you just get the instruction manual, how to download the app. So how to download the app and get it set up. Now it does look a bit tedious and I would say it took me about five minutes to get the app downloaded, create an account and getting the lights actually synced. The first light gave me a bit of troubles. I had to reset it by doing that. You switch the light, light switch on and off, on and off, on and off. I think three or four times until it starts flashing again. The second light I paid onto the system, absolutely flawless. Put it in, it immediately went into sync mode, synced it to the app and it worked perfectly fine. So, you know, um, stuff like that might happen. But that's what the globe looks like. Like I said, you basically just replace it. Now this is a screw in. I don't know what the official term for this globe is. I know it has a screw in and I know the other version as the bayonet. So the bayonet version, they do have both of them. And they also have these, I'm not sure what these are called again. I forgot what that connector is called, but they also have these for your down lights. I believe these are down lights in most houses. So they also have these as well. So let me show you how you plug it in, how you swap your lights out, how easy it is, and we'll get going. All right, so I'm gonna use my light fitting I have in my room to show you how easy it is to get it set up. I do have other studio lights on right now. I'm going to turn those off, show you how bright my old normal fluorescent globe is, and then you guys can see how bright the new Wi-Fi smart lights are. Okay, so the room is completely dark. This is how bright. Okay, my camera is also set for studio lights, but you'll get the idea. This is the normal fluorescent globe. I'm gonna swap the globe out now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is show you how to install it. Really simple. You unscrew it, make sure your light switch is off. <laughs> unscrew your old globe. Like that. Take your new globe. And just screw it. As simple as that. So this is what was in there. So you can see the lighting difference. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna switch it on. And after a while, you can really see how bright it is. After a while, it should start flashing. There we go, now it's flashing. So now that means it's in pair mode. Download the app, have the app ready. And then once it's flashing, all you're gonna do is get it added. So, go into the app. You see, I've already added two lights. I'm going to add this light. So, I click add. I click auto scan. It wants my location. <laughs> so, I'll let it, I'll let Skynet track me. Start scanning. It found the lights already instantly. Connect it. Next. Connect it to your Wi-Fi network. And it should stop flashing, just like that. It does stop flashing. Okay. 
And there we go, it has been added. Now we'll give it a name. I'm gonna change this to Bedroom Light 3. So that is the third one in my room. And done. Now it is added to our list and there we go. We can dim it, make it brighter, make it cool, make it warm, I hope you see. And it's actually really responsive and quick. So, bright, dim, bright, dim. And obviously it has colors, red, and the colors are very, needless to say, colorful. Let me turn off my, let me turn off the studio lights and then you can see. So I'll turn off the studio lights. Like I said, keeping in mind my camera is set to record with a lot of lights going on. So it is a lot darker than what it is, but these lights are very bright and you can obviously cycle through the colors just like that. And it will light up the whole room as you go through the colors. Many modes you can set, you can set scenes like if you want to read, um, working light, leisure light, it has all preset ones, colorful. I think this will cycle through. Yeah, this will just cycle through a bunch of colors. So dazzling, gorgeous. These will just cycle through different preset modes, which you can obviously edit these modes. And I have like a quick toggle to just turn the lights on. Okay, so there we have it guys. That is, so this is a before with just the normal plain fluorescent globe. And this is after, this is the new light. Boom, just so you have a comparison. All right, I'm just gonna end the video standing here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative. These lights are really, really cool. I've got multiple set up in my room. Um, I've been using them for the past day or two. Absolutely flawless. Oh, we've, I forgot this. Yes, um, let's see if it works. No nonsense. Hey Google, turn off bedroom light. All right, turning off two lights. Sorry, it looks like the bedroom light one isn't available right now. I have it unplugged. <laughs> okay, so it's over here. So it does work. Hey Google, turn on bedroom lights. All right, turning on two lights. Sorry, it looks like. Yes, I know it's unplugged. Hey Google, make bedroom lights red. Got it. Changing two lights to red. So Sorry. it works. It looks like the bedroom light one isn't available right now. I know. Uh, <laughs> so it does work. It works very, very well with uh, Google Assistant. I haven't tried it with Alexa and I don't know if Siri is officially supported. It's not supported on the box. But I suppose you can figure out a way to get it to work. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the review of the Benetta. Benetta, I hope I'm saying it right. The Benetta Smart Globes. So far they have worked absolutely flawlessly. Like I said, I only had issue with the very first light syncing it. I think I took too long because I had it on, I had it plugged in, it was flashing. And by the time I had the app downloaded and the account created, I think it went out of pairing mode. So I had to just put it back into pairing mode. So if you are buying these, first download the app, get your account ready, have everything, and then set the lights up. Like you saw, I synced this up first time, first try, no problems. Uh, whatsoever once the app was set up properly so that's a big thing make sure you have your app set up properly and everything else should be smooth sailing they all sync up nicely you can link them all um, into specific rooms like I say turn off bedroom lights it will turn off all the lights in the bedroom that you have in that group kitchen lounge whatever but there we go guys, I hope you enjoyed that review sorry the camera's ending in this angle it's a bit different I know but it is what it is. I will see you all in the very next video. If you guys want to keep updated with smart home technologies, make sure you get subscribed because I'm going to be reviewing a lot of it in the new year and I will see you all then. Until then, adios amigos, I'm Adi guys. See you in the next one.